Hello and welcome to Education Hub. Today we're going to be talking about the IELTS essay um, as, and as it pertains to the introduction and we're going to talk about some tips and techniques. So let's start by having a look at the IELTS introduction to the essay. Writing the introduction. For task two, in both general and academic, you must write an introduction, body paragraphs and a conclusion. However, you only have 40 minutes. Within this time, you need to analyze and fully understand the question, brainstorm ideas to write about, develop an essay outline, and then write your 250 word response. So as you can see, there's not a lot of time to do this. Your body paragraphs are the most important and developed parts of the essay as they contain all your supporting arguments and demonstrate how good you are at organizing your ideas. Therefore, you need a method to write your IELTS essay introduction fairly quickly. When you write an introduction, you should make sure you do two things. Firstly, write a sentence that introduces the topic and give some background about it. Now this background will be found in the question itself. Secondly, we need to tell the reader what we're going to be writing about. Your purpose or thesis must be clear, which means the promise to the reader, what you intend to do. Okay, now let's have a look at an uh, let's have a look at a IELTS introduction example. Here's the question: Unemployment has become an increasing problem in the recent past. What factors contribute to an increase in unemployment, and what steps can be taken to solve this problem? And here's our introduction. As you can see, this one only has two sentences. The first sentence is showing you the background and the second sentence is giving the purpose of the essay or the thesis statement. Now the types of introductions I'm going to show you today are related to problem solution type questions and as you can see from the question itself the words are mentioned in the question itself. You can see has become an increasing problem unemployment and we're looking at solutions to this problem. So let's have a look at the introduction now. Over recent years, the level of, an, of unemployment has been increasing at an alarming rate in many countries around the world. So there's our general background statement. This links the essay that we're going to write to the question itself. Now we have the thesis statement or purpose of the essay. This essay will discuss the reasons for this increase and consider what practical solutions are available. So. Our opinion is not mentioned in here yet. The opinion will obviously be mentioned in the body and the conclusion of the essay. However, our purpose and our topic are very clear by the time we finish this introduction. Yes, the introduction is very short, but the introduction's purpose is clear. And as an IELTS examiner, this is the sort of thing that I would be looking for. Let's have a look at another example that's a little bit more developed. The second introduction example um, again, it's a problem solution type question. The internet has transformed the way information is shared and consumed, but it has also created problems that did not exist before. What are the most serious problems associated with the internet and what solutions can you suggest? So it's fairly clear again from the question that we are talking about the internet as our topic and the type of essay we're being asked to write is a problem solution essay. And here's our introduction. There is no doubt that the internet has revolutionized communication and information sharing in the same way that the telegraph and the television, uh, television did before it. So here's our background information. However, societies have had to cope with unanticipated new problems, including crimes, which traditional laws are powerless to prevent. Now in this case, the second sentence is acting like a bridge. It's joining the general background statement, which is the first sentence, to what will be our purpose, our thesis. Because yes, we are talking about the internet, but we're actually talking about it in terms of the negative side of it. And here's our thesis. Despite the illegal acts enabled by the internet, there are also a variety of worthwhile solutions to consider. Again, our purpose is very clear. The thesis itself is saying, yes, there are illegal acts, problems associated with the internet, which will be discussed, but there are also solutions. So the thesis also helps us organize what we are going to be writing in our essay. 
Let's have a look at a third example. Drugs are becoming more and more common in many countries. What are some of the problems associated with drug abuse and what are some of the possible solutions? Again, looking at this type of question, we can tell it's a problem solution type uh, question. And this thesis, uh, this introduction again gives us three sentences. Drug abuse is rife in many countries. So we're establishing the problem itself and talking about the topic. Billions of dollars are spent internationally preventing drug use, treating addicts, and fighting drug-related crime. Although drugs threaten many societies, their effects can be combated successfully. This essay looks at some of the effects of drug use on society and suggests some solutions to the problem. Again, our, our thesis or our purpose is very clear. We're saying that, yes, there are problems associated with drug abuse, which the essay will discuss. But having said that, there are also a variety of solutions to the problems that we will introduce. So we can see from this example, um, yes, it uses four sentences. The first one is rather short. Is that it's going to give us background information. It's going to give us a little bit um, more information in terms of a bridge, which is going to be linking the topic to the thesis. And then we have a thesis. And the thesis is very clearly stating that there are problems related to drugs, but there are also possible solutions. Now let's finally talk about general tips. As an IELTS examiner, something that um, I find that a lot of people do in the introduction is they write too much. So my first tip would be do not write too much. You can practice writing introductions by looking at the introductions that are provided here. Um, having a look at the word count and then thinking in terms of how long your body paragraphs need to be in relation to this. Secondly, you should include only relevant information. The best way to do this is to have a very good understanding of the question before you start. I think a lot of candidates look at the question and then look at the keyword and then just start writing about it there is more to an IELTS question than just looking at the key word. Something that we need to do is understand the question as a whole and what is it trying to say. Thirdly, get to the point. There is a lot of rambling going on in introductions. I have had introductions that are up to 80 words long and in a 250 word essay that is far too long. Um, if you are aiming at band 6 and even if you're aiming at band 7, a two sentence introduction which gives relevant background, paraphrases part of the question and then gives a very clear thesis statement or purpose to the rest of the essay is more than sufficient. Next, always include background information. Now the background information can be found in the question but we also want to be careful of not copying the question down. Yes we need the information from the question but we need to write it in our own words. And finally, it is important that you always include a thesis statement. Um, as you can see from the three examples that I've provided, there are different ways of writing a thesis statement, but it's very important that the thesis statement is clear and that the thesis statement relates to what you are doing in the rest of the essay. Thank you very much for your time, and please have a look for more videos from Education Hub.